In this video presentation, I'll be sharing you how to construct on Excel a dumbbell chart. Now, a dumbbell chart, as you can see in this example here, generally compares data between two years and connected by this little bar. In this particular case, I'll be showing you how to um, construct a dumbbell chart using environmental quality survey data that's been collected using Google Street View images that are found at each site along a transect. So let's go to our data. So here you can see I've already inserted some data. Now you can download the spreadsheet from the video because there are some formulas here that I think will make your life a bit easier if you just click and drag. So I'm just going to show you how they work. I'm going to put in some data. So let's just make up a year. Let's call that 2009, 2020. Let's say the most recent year had a very high score of four. But in 2009, it was 7.8. And then let's put some one in for 2010. Let's say the score there was 2.1. Again, 2020, the image was taken, very high score of five. And that was at site seven, and at site eight. And I'm just gonna click and drag the formulas. And you'll see why in a minute. So let's get started. We now need to select the data from the first year. And we need to select the data from the site. So I press, hold down control, and I've selected the two column of data. I'm gonna insert the scatter graph. And you can see the first set of data is being plotted there. I now want to insert some the other data. So I'm going to right click on the graph and select data. I'm just going to change this, this series name. I'm going to call that uh, first year. Press return. And I'm going to add some more data. So here I'm going to give the series name of the most recent year. And the x values are sites one to eight. And sorry, the x values are the um, environmental quality data and the y values are the site numbers and press ok and you can see now that the two data sets have been plotted so what we need to do is draw a line between them before we do that though we're going to tidy up these axes a little bit now you can see here this environment well generally speaking environmental quality surveys go up to five so we need to change the x-axis so we right click format axes we need to give the maximum of five that naught and we're going to make the major values go up in one and on the y-axis we need to make this go in reverse order because generally speaking they have the most um, the first one at the top and it goes down to the last at the bottom so we're going to again click on the axes and put the values in reverse order and I now want to make this a nice little black box and put a solid line here and again along the x-axis and overall, I want to have a nice black box. Now, for the data, generally speaking, we want this to be on the bottom. So I'll click on the x-axis. I'm going to go to labels, and I want them to be low. Sorry, I want them to be high. And you can see here it's shifted. Now, as we're drawing black lines between these two dots, we want to take away these gray lines because they're just going to get confusing. And we've got here. Okay, so that's now you can see that we've started to get these two dots and we have to draw the black line between them. So we click on the, um, the first year. We're gonna to use to this little add button. And we're gonna add some error bars. And you can see here the error bars are being drawn. I want to create some more options because I'm going to delete it a little bit. Error bar options. Now this is the horizontal bar. The horizontal bar we're going to customize. So we're going to get custom. We're going to give specific value, positive value. We put there. Negative value. We do that, and we put in the data. And now these error bars have been drawn. Again, we're going to click on the on the vertical one. Sorry, plus percentage. Say so disappear. We want to have no cap. Just to make sure they haven't gone. And the horizontal bars again. Specific value. Delete. The vertical, no cap.
And you can see now by putting naught on the percentage, they have disappeared. So we also need to start labeling these. So we can see here that's the first year. I want to add a data label. So I'm going to add data label and put some more options. I don't want the Y values, but what I want to do is put the year. So I've selected values from the cells, and I've selected the year. The year appears now at the top, a little bit confusing. I want that, generally speaking, to go to the right. Most of them have gone to the right, but some are over the lines. If we click individually on them, we can shift them a little bit so they can go left. And likewise, we want to put these to the right. And so we're going to add these labels again. Want to put some more options in. Values from cells. Okay, it's 20 now. I'll change this a little bit. I could put 2020, but I also want to put the difference in. So here you can see I've put this labels column, and that's where this comes in. So if I select that, we can see now the labels are here. Generally, these have got on the left. But I want these to go on the right, that particular one to go, sorry. I want some of them to go on the right. Now here you can see we might have a slight problem because the x-axis goes up to five. So we want to shift that a little bit to make it a bit more legible. So if we click on the six, that gives us some space. Now we can get rid of that six with a little trick later. So if I put that to the right, you can see now that we've got the data nicely shown. I might make this graph a little bit bigger to make it stand out more. There we go. So as you can see, we now need to add the title and Y axes and we need to get rid of the six and get rid of this naught. So it just looks a bit tidier and the nine as well. Now the nine is quite simple to do. Again, if we click on the Y axes, we change the formatting. We put maximum five, make sure that goes to naught. Then here, that's shifted a little bit, and now we just need to worry about the noughts, but we can do that a little cheeky trick later. So let's add some axis labels. The primary one, primary vertical, I also want to put a title in. Need to shift that one down a little bit so it goes at the bottom. Make sure you get the right one. Like I said, I want to hide that six. So all you need to do is just get a little insert a text box. There we can change the color. So you can see they've been changed and it just looks a little bit neater. Make sure you change the axes titles, left and right. And before you leave, and before you have a go yourself, we need to insert a legend. Just so the reader knows exactly what they're looking at. I'd like to put it into a space where it's empty so you can see the first year, the most recent year. And we might want to explain what that um, what the brackets mean. So again, we can just insert text box if minus 0.3 equals change between years. And again, if you need to make the graph a little bit bigger so it's easier to read, we can do that now.
And that's it. Play around the settings, match it your style. And that's simply how you create dumbbells, charts in Excel.